Hey, Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, the channel we bring you new smart home content every week. Looking at Apple HomeKit, Amazon Echo, Google Home, all the above. A little Home Assistant, if that interests you, please consider subscribing below. Today, we're gonna look at disaster recovery for your HomeKit home. Um, for those of us who are on the bleeding edge, sometimes bad things happen. In my case, iOS 13 betas deleted my entire home. There's no other way to say it, kind of sucks. So today we're gonna to show you how to fast track that using Philips Hue. Assuming you've got Philips Hue, this is this easy. One, you gotta have Philips Hue. Two, you got a blank home kit home. Three, you add your Philips Hue connection as a home kit device into home kit home, and that's it. It will automatically rebuild your rooms. It'll add all the devices into those rooms, mostly, and fast track you so that you can start getting on with um, recreating the rest of your automations and those kinds of things. Let's take a look. So sometimes playing on the bleeding edge of technology has its drawbacks. And one of those happened to me recently, which is um, playing with iOS 13 betas. It wiped out my home kit homes completely, totally gone, lost. So one of the great things that you can do if you want to rebuild from scratch, and uh, honestly, I'm taking this as an opportunity, is to use Philips Hue to fast track the recreation of your home. So in this video, we're gonna assume that you have a blank HomeKit home, and it assumes that the Hue app was already configured. The number one rule when dealing with the Hue app is that the Hume is the name's master. And that can be pretty annoying, but if you understand what it's doing, you can use that to your advantage. So let's take a look. So in step one here, I'm just gonna log into the Apple Home app. You can see here, I've never done this before. Welcome to the home. This is iOS 13.1, which was just released. And you can see I've got no rooms, no zones, no devices. Um, really, this is a complete blank setup. You can see I've got a couple of uh, gateway devices here. Um, not even that yet, so it hasn't really quite finished the synchronization. So this is a bare bones home. Um, automations, it's telling me that I'm going to have to add an Apple TV or a HomePod, which of course, as the sync happens, that's going to happen automatically. So of course, we could recreate all our rooms and everything manually, but there is a better way to do that if you are recreating your home. So in my setup, I have the Philips Hue app already all configured, the lights are paired, uh, the accessories are in there, and the rooms are configured. So there is a HomePod there that you just saw that I'm going to have to configure later, so we'll get to that later. But you can just see here as I take you through a tour, we've got a whole bunch of rooms um, that are assigned um, devices, and some are not assigned devices. That's because this is what my previous HomeKit setup was, was all about. So what I'm going to do here is just leverage this to recreate that in Home, uh, in the Apple HomeKit database, without actually having to go through all that, that process of doing it manually. So really all I'm gonna have to do here is uh, make sure that my, my Philips Hue gateway was not paired to HomeKit. So you might have to reset that. It's a little bit scary, but don't worry. It wasn't a big deal. Um, and then you're gonna just have to reset, um, reconnect your Philips Hue gateway into your Apple HomeKit home, which is as simple as just putting in the HomeKit code and then going through that. So in iOS 13, which is a little bit different than the iOS 12 behavior, um, iOS 13, it actually forced me to go through every individual light, um, motion sensor, switch all that manually one at a time and just click next, right? So uh, go through that. I have done some video magic here, so you don't need to watch that. So as we go back over to the Apple Home app, now we can see we got a bit of a different situation. Um, wait for it to update. There we go. You can see now that I've got all of my Philips Hue devices that have been automatically synced. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, the rooms tab is now available. Now I didn't do anything here. All I did was synchronize um, Hue into Apple HomeKit, which is kind of cool, right? So the devices are also automatically placed in rooms. Now there are some exceptions to this, and this is the accessories. So all your lights are going in the right places. That's great but not your motion sensors, not your light switches. So the other thing you're gonna to wanna to do to get the most out of your uh, Siri voice assistant is to create your zones. Those do not get synced. And the best way to do that is actually in the Eve Home app, at least the best way that I have found. So a little bit different um, than the Apple Home app, which I'll show you an example of that at the end. We can go into edit your, your rooms um, and create a zone. And you can just pick multiple zones, do a multiple selection of them, uh, here, so we're going to pick the 
bedroom and we'll create a bedroom zone first. And what this does is it allows us to say, um, yo, Siri, turn off all the lights in the bedrooms or turn off the bedroom lights. And that zone name will be used for all the lights that apply within it, right? So it's a kind of a hierarchical grouping mechanism, which is kind of cool. I'm going to create a bunch of these. I create them for upstairs, for downstairs, main floor, outside, those kinds of things. So it allows you to kind of um, address all of that stuff as as a larger group. So really, it's a it becomes a hierarchical management, which is personally I find really handy. I can just in the morning go, hey, turn all the bedrooms off. So to give you an idea of what that would look like from the Apple Home app, it's quite a bit different. You have to do that manually one at a time. So for each room that you have in your house, you're going to have to uh, go into each room and assign the zone. And as I'm sure we'd all agree, that would suck. And that brings us to the end of getting our home kit home, at least the starting of our home kit home up and running. Um, hopefully this never happens to you. It really sucks when it does, when the, the entire home goes bonkers. Um, just like anything, tech can go wrong, especially when you're playing with betas. So buyer beware on that one. If you've got a Philips Hue hub and all your rooms configured in that though, this at least gives you a way to get fast tracked into getting the home or at least all the infrastructure of your home back up and running. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Questions, comments, concerns, a good idea, bad idea, something you didn't know. Let me know below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, do that. Like, shares, always appreciated. See you guys next time.